Hello, this is Maureen Legas with today's Technology Tidbit in the 21 Days 2014 series. Today we're going to talk about YouTube. Um, I'm assuming that if you're listening to this, you don't have a YouTube channel. So we're going to start with the basics, how to get your YouTube channel, what to put on that, and what are playlists all about. Now the first step is to go to YouTube and sign in. Now YouTube is owned by Google, so if you have a Google account, you can sign into your Google account and then go to YouTube to create your YouTube account. Um, what you would do here at YouTube is click here to sign in up in the upper right hand side. Okay, so then it'll open here, it'll say Google, sign in with your email in Google. If you don't have a Google account, then you create an account. Click here to create an account. So let's do that. Okay, so we're going to create our Google account. This will give us access to YouTube. So let's do that. Okay, once you fill that in, you'll get a verification email. Go to your email and click that link and then Google will walk you through the steps of creating other Google products. So do you want to create your Google Plus profile? Well, not yet. We're really interested in YouTube. So here I am. It's going to um, ask me uh, a couple of questions here if I want to access, show me, not ask questions, but show me how to use it. Or I can go right to my YouTube channel. So let's click the link, go back to YouTube. So now we're on YouTube, but we don't yet have a channel. The first thing you could do is click on the icon here and add a photograph of yourself. Click here to change and add a photograph. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to come over here to your channel. So click on your channel and it's going to go through a series of steps. First it's going to ask, verify my identity. So it's going to ask if you want a text message or a voicemail and you text a verification code and then you enter that verification code. So let's put in a phone number for email and let's send the verification code. So it creates a new code, sends your verification code on your phone and you click to verify. And now you go through setting up your YouTube channel. So we're going to answer the questions and it says to add a photo, click here. You can do it here as well. It's going to verify some information and then you click continue. So now I've created a YouTube channel. So this time when I click to my channel, I'm going to see I have a channel that's not quite set up. So you want to make sure you have a picture. You can change your channel art. You can change what's going to appear on a desktop, on, a, on an iPad and a mobile phone. Click to add channel art. You can click here to add the background. And then you can um, set up your playlists. So what are playlists? Well, if you want to section off what goes on YouTube, by a playlist, by certain lists, so that you can market them differently. So I might have a playlist that are property virtual tours. That might be one playlist that I'll create. And then when I click playlists, I'll see that I have one playlist, virtual tours, and that's where when I post virtual tours, I'll put them in that playlist. I might have another playlist for educational videos and create that playlist. And so you would segregate the videos based on the type of videos that you're going to be posting. Okay, so now let's go look at a live account. Let me show you what my live account looks like. So when you sign on to YouTube, over here where your image is, you're going to click and you're going to go to your Creator Studio. And the Creator Studio is going to bring you back to your channel where your videos are. If I look at my video manager, 
I'm going to see that I have multiple playlists. So I have the 21 Days 2014 playlist. I have some KW video that I've uploaded that I've produced. I've got property videos for Panther Ridge. I've got property tours. I have some weekly tech tips. So I have different playlists. Now within those playlists, I'm going to click 21 Days. And that's where all of these videos are kept within this playlist. So I can send the link to the playlist to someone, which is up here, and they can get to all the videos or you can share an individual video. All right, so let's go back to the beginning and talk about what to add to your YouTube channel. Well, before we leave, while I'm here, I added um, a header photo and I added my image, so you can do that too. And you can click to edit and change that at any time. All right, so let's click home and let's go back to the beginning. Okay, so besides uh, video tours um, and other uh, pre pre-created videos like the KW video tool. Besides that, what type of video could you put on your channel? Well, I use a product called Screencast-O-Matic. That's what I'm using right now to create this video. Now, there's a free version and then there's a paid version. You would go to www.screencast-o-matic.com and you could try out the free version, which you can use to capture what's on your screen. So let's talk about the types of things to capture. So let's start back at your eEdge site and let's go to the buy section. And let's say you are gonna market an area um, and you wanna become the expert in that area. Well, you can use your Screencast-O-Matic to come and create a video of the information about that location. So let's say that it is 34228. Let's say this is the area that you've decided Longboat Key to market and you want to market homes over 500,000. You don't care how many bedrooms or baths. Um, you don't care the age. You want to market those homes. So you come in here and you create the search and you click to search. And then you start Screencast-O-Matic and you start describing the area. Um, you might click on the map and say, so let's say I had Screencast-O-Matic running. I might say, hi, it's Maureen Legas here discussing what is going on in Longboat Key. And then you would talk like that about, you know, the activity in Longboat Key. Now let me go back. There's one thing that you can do, and let me go back and show you where we're gonna go back to um, the search criteria. I'm gonna quick to switch over here to the list view, and then I'm going to click on more search options. Now let's say that your videos, you create your videos every Friday morning, and that's to get ready for the weekend open houses. Well, if I want to uh, check here on my property search. I could click this field called days on market within the last seven days. So if every Friday morning you want to show the new activity, the new listings for the last seven days, that's 14 properties, you can come back over and your video could say, good morning, it's Maureen Legas again checking in about the new listings on Longboat Key. And what we see here, quite a few homes and some condos available for sale. So if you're interested in looking at property on Longboat Key, please give me a call so I can get you into these homes before they're taken. You know, something like that. And that could be your thing. You could just find the properties that are specific for that week and just give a weekly update. Another thing, this Market Insider tab on the Pro System, if I click Market Insider, I can search by zip code, and let's say I want to look at this zip code and I search, I can just, for my video, I can start Screencast-O-Matic and start recording saying, so let's look at the price trend, sold versus listed, in the 34203 Bradenton area. And you can just speak about that. You can click here for inventory trends, you can look at property ownership, and you could just talk about this page on your website. And then you can tell them, for an exclusive membership to the Florida Gulf Coast Group Market Insider,
please contact us today at 941-301-8306 and that could be your whole video. So maybe your videos are 45 seconds to uh, 60 seconds long, just gives a taste of what's going on in the community that you are marketing and then you would post those on your YouTube channel. Once they're there, you can share those links on Facebook on your business page. And that's the same way that I share the 21 days. You come in, you click on your video to watch it, and then down here you click share, and then it says share the whole playlist. Well, you might not want to do that. You turn that off. You just want to share this one video, and you click and right right click to copy that that link and share it over on your Facebook business page okay so that's a little bit about YouTube setting up a channel as quickly and easily as possible and what types of materials to post on your YouTube channel we'll see you tomorrow